It seems like in 2024, something shocking is happening here in the UK. It seems like one thing is becoming an issue above everything else. And this has happened in every city that I've been to. And I've been to a lot of different cities in the UK, North and South. Almost every city that you go to, every big city, London, Manchester, Leeds, anything like that, has a lot of homeless people living there, right? A lot of homeless people. And this is a reflection of the broader society, of the broader economy, right? The thing about the UK is it's one of the richest countries in the world, undeniably. And if you are in any of the big cities, you can see wealth everywhere. You really can. From historical wealth in old school buildings that look grand to modern wealth in supercars parked in the street. There's still a lot of opportunities to make something of yourself, and let's not lie, the internet has made it easier. Having a country and a place where you can call somewhere to live, a family support network, no fear of war, is an absolute privilege. But the divide between people who have money and people who don't is almost undeniably becoming stronger here in the UK and like I say the homelessness problem has been something that the UK and many countries around the world have seen for forever you could make an argument possibly that this is something that is potentially always going to happen in a capitalist society but with that being said I've never seen it more prevalent than I have now. And the reason why I make this video is because I think a lot of people need to prepare for this. Because it's not just the homeless people. The homeless people are the absolute lowest end of the sign that we all need to be aware of. They are the absolute point that proves it. But it's something that we're all seeing. Have you guys noticed how money stretches less far these days? Have you guys noticed how most people making an average wage who live in any big city, and I know people in the comment section say, we'll move out of a big city. Where are you going to get a good paying job then? Most people who live in these big cities because not necessarily they want to, but because they have to for career development opportunities, networking, they feel themselves having less and less money every month. Whilst we see people who have more money every month than ever before. I think people who want to live in the UK now need to be on the right side of the curve because I think otherwise, in fact no I don't think otherwise, I think almost inevitably it seems to be the case that we're going back to what is kind of like a Victorian society and I don't mean that in terms of fancy dress because everybody always says you know oh the Victorians were so stylish, no the rich ones were, right? If you were a you or me in the Victorian days, I mean, obviously, I wouldn't exist in the Victorian days, but if you were someone standard level like us in the Victorian days, you'd be broke. You wouldn't have the fancy dresses or the luxury mansions. It's just unrealistic. It's how history has warped your perception. Life for your average person would have not been very good. And I feel like we're going back to that stage. Have you ever watched the film or obviously read the book? Um, I think it is called A Christmas Carol. It's, it's a Christmas film. And I feel like we're kind of moving back to that time. You know, the old yes, governor, can you spare some change type of world. Because more and more people are finding themselves with less and less, right? And I've, I've made this argument, some people say, well, everyone should just work more. Maybe it's true, maybe I'm wrong. But I know that the average person who does work, right? Because you could make the argument, and I would agree, if you don't run a business and you don't intend to run a business and you're not working 40 hours a week, you're lazy and you shouldn't have the most economic prosperity in society. It should be for the people who work hardest. But with that being said, I know people who work full time, they're finding themselves with less money left. And this is concerning to us all. The gap's widening. People who make a decent income being barely able to afford properties, maybe they can afford the mortgage, but how long can they pay it off without defaulting? Is it the kind of mortgage where if the interest rate increases, they can't afford it? That's, in my eyes, not something that you can then afford. Asset prices are going up. More and more people are being priced out of assets. Taxes appear to be going up on working people. And I think we need to kind of prepare, unfortunately, for a sort of Victorian-esque economy where we have the upper classes who are living it up and we have the lower classes who are just workers, units of labour. I don't think it can ever get as bad as the Victorian ages. We have workers' rights and we do still make a fair wage, let's be honest. Two people living together can still have a decent life. But it is undeniable that this gap is widening. It is undeniable in 
the UK that the richest are getting substantially richer at the detriment of everybody else, it is undeniable that the people who hold the most wealth hold more of it than most of the poor people. And these are not opinions. People can't come at me in the comment section saying, this is my opinion. These are facts. And my opinion, based off of the facts I am presented with, easily accessible information on the internet, my assessment is that we're probably going back to the Victorian days. Spare change at every corner in the UK is what we're seeing now. That's not a prediction of the of the future. That is a current situation. I go to the shops. Let's say I'm in this place where I am right now, right? It's city centre place. I go to the shops in an hour as I am going to do for some food. How many times am I going to get begged for change? It's going to happen at least once. And this is not me being dramatic, it's true. People say, well, these are the people who made bad life decisions. Maybe they were on drugs, maybe they didn't get a good education. Some of that is true. And for a lot of the people who are homeless, that may be the case. But here's the thing. The people who I'm seeing homeless now are not necessarily the same people who I was seeing homeless 10 years ago. 10 years ago, you could... Maybe it's a bit judgmental, but you could perhaps make a correlation between lifestyle, appearance, you know, nowadays it's like, that's just an average somebody, right? And again, look at the poorest in society, not those who are homeless, but those who are getting squeezed by high food prices, high rent prices, and I know people might say, well, um, oh, well, you can, you can get a house and all, imagine if you're, I don't know, a single mom who's got two kids, how, how do you get out of financial deprivation, right? Seriously. Um, or even if you're you're two adults with two kids and you've got no degrees and no qualifications. And I don't think it's fair to make the assessment of, well, you should have you should have got qualifications before you look, things pop up in life, right? And whether you agree with the point or not, you can't deny that the wealth gap is widening. And I think in fact, no, I don't think. Let, let's let's take that word out of it. Let's look at statistics. The UK is one of the most wealth in equal, in equal, rich nations in the world. These are facts. These aren't opinions. Look into them and make your opinion based off of the facts. A lot of people in the comment sections of my videos come at me with uneducated opinions, and I don't have the most high level of education in every matter, but I try and educate myself, I try and better my opinions and understandings, and every, every opinion that I try and make can be substantiated by facts. And even if statistics didn't back it up, the fact that I am walking around places and I'm seeing the have-nots and the haves very blatantly, very blatantly, in places like London and Manchester, the, the basically the most economically prosperous parts of England, if not the whole UK, it's even more apparent. You know, you'll see homeless people literally feet away from Lamborghinis. It's worrying. And... Again, it's not just the people on the edge that should be concerned. You know, I've always said it in all of my videos about making more money and increasing your chances of being safe. But again, it's not about, in my opinion now, um, do you want to be rich? It's more like, do you want to have a decent standard of life? Because it seems that for those who are not in asset classes that are going up for those who are not making the correct investments you know your average working person they're seeing a pay increase of what two three percent a year when inflation's at six seven ten you're just going to get squeezed financially it's almost it's almost inevitable right so what do we do with this information now that's a bit that i don't quite know it's just an assessment that I made. I think the only thing that we can do is make more money. Make more money and get ourselves into a position where we are as secure as we can possibly be. It's almost impossible to be 100% secure. We've seen this in the past with the fact that things can go wrong, assets can crash, items can get freezed. But look, frozen I should say, but look, this is your only chance at... It's your best chance at making something because, you know, it's all well and good. If you've got free time, free time, you can spend all that time, you know, pick up pick up a laptop wherever mine's gone, pick up this. 
try making a few different businesses, do something, get an online job. When you don't have the time and when you do need the money, you will do anything. Then you're trapped. Then you are trapped. And once you're trapped, it seems to be harder to get out of it than most people like to acknowledge. So yeah, I think we're in a interesting time. Whether we're going to fully go to you know the idea of Victorian, um, basically peasants and lords, and that's it. I don't know, but I think it's almost undeniable that the middle class are getting squeezed. I think it's almost undeniable that the rich are holding more and the poor are getting poorer. And that to me sounds like an even more unequal society. It doesn't sound like something that we should be aspiring to, and it doesn't sound in 2024, 2025, like something that we should be seeing at this stage of human evolution. Thank you. Goodbye.